Welcome everybody to another episode of Today I Work On and today I talk about installing tile on the tile ready shower base. It's a straightforward process. Now just recently in the past six months, six, seven months, tile ready came up with a new formula. You can see it's a flat, it's a different surface. It used to be gray the tile ready now it's a like a brownish whitish they actually approved some thin set mortars to be used on the tile ready system so I will put up right above my well maybe below what those uh, thin sets are but I am not going to use thin set and the only reason why is because I am used to using the ready epoxy because I've installed this so often and so many times I'm just used to the ready epoxy. So I did order, it's about 55 bucks for a, I don't know actually, I don't know how much it costs. I could be wrong. It's like 55 to $65. Now the reason why I like the ready epoxy is because it's an epoxy. When you put the tile on the ready tile base, it becomes one. It's the ready epoxy is the craziest stuff I've ever worked with uh, when it comes to adhering tiles. So I'm gonna get into how I mix up the ready epoxy. It's pretty straightforward. So I will go over how I do it. Now this is a pretty big shower base. This is a four by five foot um, shower pan. So I'm gonna get into how I tile this base. So let me start working on that. There's a few important steps when you use the ready epoxy. The first thing is cut your tile. Cut your tile, and then this is the ready epoxy right here. So you got this box of, it's like white powder, and then you have the, you have the part A and part B, the actual epoxy itself, well epoxy, right here. So the plan is, you're gonna mix it like so. Usually I like using a grout paddle bit. And when I install the tile, I use, it's the eighth inch by eighth inch notch trowel for most tile. Let me tell you again, this stuff sticks. It sticks like a crazy stalker ex-girlfriend. I mean, don't mess around with it. You need to be super clean with it as well. So what I'm gonna do now is, before I start putting the ready epoxy down, I'm gonna mark each of my mosaics so I know to put them down first. And you're gonna see the way I install this tile. So let me start working on actually prepping all of this and mixing the ready epoxy and marking my tile. So let me start working on that. Marked all my tile, you see I labeled them. So row one, row two, row three, row four. Now it's show time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix the ready epoxy. So all you need is your utility knife and a bucket. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this powder. I like putting the powder on top because then the epoxy is not on the bottom. So I did buy an extra box of ready epoxy just in case there's not enough here, but I think I should be good. So dump that in there. All right, and then cut. This is part A. So part A, cut it. I cut the whole thing. Now remember, you don't want to get any of this on on the floor or whatever. Just be careful. So, and then what I usually do is I take this knife and just go like this. Just squeezes it out. So, and this part A. Now you have about you have about a good forty-five minutes to an hour to work with this. So, you're not really. Uh, and that's stress for time. So especially if you cut the tile first. If you cut the tile first, you're in usually really good shape. This is part B, same thing. I'm gonna cut across the whole. Cut 
cut the whole thing and then pour part B in. Same thing, take your trowel, just clean it out as much as possible. That's basically how you mix the red epoxy and prep it. And now I'm gonna hook up my, I'm gonna hook up my screw gun, put it on low, make it nice and tight, and then I'm going to go to town. You see it's getting nice and consistent. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go for another like 30 seconds, but then I'm gonna start troweling this uh, red epoxy down. It's kind of like mortar, a little bit. It's not. It's it's a, it's a good. It's like a gooey. It's a gooey feeling. I, I can't explain it. So when you start to do, what I usually do is I come off of my rack attack, and then I'll, I'll walk into the the pan, and then I'm gonna start on my way back against the wall, and then work my way forward since it's a big pan. So, now you don't have to really, you see this stuff is just, it's unbelievable. Like it's unbelievable. In two hours, this stuff, it's like, becomes one with the tile and with the base. I just, I can, I can never get over how amazing this stuff is. Now, when I tell you how stressed out I was when I first put this down, I'm not gonna lie. I was stressed out. It was a very stressful setup, but now, since I know how it works, it's so straightforward and easy. So like I said, again, you can use thin set water on this, but I am not. Because I just don't, I'm not crazy about it. I like guess here, it comes, goes on nice and smooth. It's a very nice consistency. If you see. Now the hardest part to do to tell uh, the epoxy is around the, uh, the trench. But I've also figured that out. So you want to make sure you get all the way to the black. You want to make sure that black is covered because that is a part of the pan and you want it to look nice when you put your tile down. So now you see I'm starting to, now let me tell you, you want to clean up as much as you possibly can. You want to kind of see that trench. I mean, you want to see, I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna do another row. As clean as possible. This is not, you cannot be sloppy when you do this. And again, I, I, I believe, I believe that you could use the mortar on this, but I just don't, I don't think I'll ever use mortar. I just, I just, I don't know. It's just something I feel strongly about. I just, I can't see mortar going on these, these bases, in my opinion. I think, not to knock tile ready, but I know they do it at homework, but I, I don't know if I trust it. So, now what I usually do is, I'm gonna work my way this way. See, so yeah, I should have plenty left over. I have plenty left over in the bucket if I need any more. I might need a little bit more. Right, so I do have a little bit left over, which is perfect. I'll plop it here. That should be enough. If I need a little bit more, I'll get a little bit more. Whoops. So that was bad. Now I need to clean that up because that's a good thing I did that. You do not want this 
on the floor at all. Like sometimes there's a little like there's a little piece like that. I didn't see it. Clean it up. You do not want this on the floor. All right. Now yeah, I should cover this up, but it's very rare. I'm, I get messy with this stuff. So uh, if you're it's first time using it, yes, cover up your tile, 100%. All right, now that is basically covered. I'm gonna go over it one more time and then clean up around the trench. And then I'm gonna start laying tile. Now I'm about three, four minutes in. I'm not even stressed out at all. So I have plenty of time to set this tile. No big deal. Like I said, again, the hardest parts are around the trench. I'm gonna start cleaning that up, but uh, I'm gonna do one more long pull with the trowel. And then come back just a little bit. That looks good. See, there's like nothing on there. Oh, see, well, the other problem is see this, this goop, you do not want that. That right there is gonna ooze out of the tile and you're not gonna be happy. So clean that up a little bit. So you don't have that. All right, next up, next row. So that, that little, you do not want that. Gone. Now if I have a little bit of leftover ready epoxy, I usually put it on the tops and the sides, but since this does take water, um, I'm not too concerned about that as much as I used to be. So, and I did check, the mortar did kind of stick to the red epoxy, I mean the, the pan, but I don't know. I don't know, I feel, I feel a certain way, as one of my buddies would say. So, all right, the last trench I'm gonna, I'm gonna go across the back. Clean that up real nice. And I think we're pretty good, so now, I'm gonna start laying tile. I put it close first. Not far, but close. Why? Oh, why do I do that? Because it's easier for me to work on it. One. All right, so now I just checked, to make sure it's basically even with the trench. And that looks, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna put two down. And so on and so forth. Now you can see if it if it grips it, if you feel a grip, it's good. You don't need much. You, and this is after time you'll feel. It's like a feel thing. I can't really I can't explain it. Let's see, you know, that one's dragging. That's no, fine. So this one, if, if a tile does come off a little bit, hit it with a little bit of epoxy because sometimes it doesn't stick and then you gotta re-stick it. But you can use mortar because the little secret about red epoxy is once you cover the pan with red epoxy, mortar can be used and it sticks. I, I tested it out plenty of times and it just works. So that's all I can say. I'm just telling you what I experience. You know, it's kind of funny. Tile Ready uh, contacted me on Instagram. I was like, oh, we love your video. And I was like, thank you. So I'm like, keep, keep it up. I didn't get a free pan, but they did give me a thank you. So obviously they liked the video. You know, check your spacing. I'm not too wor worried about spacing right now. Um, I'll check spacing in a little bit. So that first row was done. Now I can lean on my tile and move forward. So that's why you start close side first. See how nice and clean everything is? 
clean. You don't want any of this epoxy coming up through the tile and then you gotta clean it up as you go. Nope. That's a big no-go, everybody. You do not wanna do that. So I put a little bit of red epoxy there and I'm missing, where am I missing one? Oh, I thought I saw it right here, okay. It all looks like the same after a while. Push there, you'll see, I'm gonna go get the, my uh, grout float, I'm gonna push down real hard. The epoxy is still really loose. So it's been about 15 minutes since I mixed it and it's still really loose. So keep that in mind. I know it's hard to believe that little eighth inch set is gonna make this stick, but <laughs> I, I can't I can't tell you how well this stuff sticks. Like I can't, it's just crazy to me. I gotta fill in just these over here a little bit. Let me go get the grout float. Success, just cut in all those little pieces and I just been patting down my tile on the red epoxy and it feels, it feels spectacular. It looks spectacular. Can't wait to grout it. And, and I'll, I'll recap. All right, well, this is the video a lot of tile ready people were waiting for. How to install tile on a tile ready base system. I did the old school way with the ready epoxy. Again, you could use the new approved Vincent mortars. I'll put it up on the, uh, the top screen, the bottom screen, so you know what else you could use. But again, if you think you could watch this video and use the ready epoxy, use it. I just, I recommend that I, I just don't feel, I'm not confident. I know there's chemicals and I actually talked to Tal already about the new red epoxy, uh, I mean, the new cans and that they could take mortar, but still, there's nothing like the red epoxy. And you have to think about this floor, it takes a beating, right? Like you're stepping on it, it's hot, it's cold, heat, water sits in it. I don't want to call back. I don't get callbacks, so I will stick with the towel. This is why I use the towel ready system because it's waterproof and I know it'll be here 50 years from now and it'll still last. And I love the red epoxy when I install the floor. So thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please click the like. If you like my channel and all the cool things I do, and I'm giving valuable information and knowledge to the world, please subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things about doing a clean uh, tile install on a shower base and how to use the ready epoxy. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.